Hey everybody, BC with Combustion Monkey here. Uh, working on the 1964 Chevy 2 Nova. Today, uh, we are going to go ahead and remove the steering wheel because, as you can see, getting in and out of this thing, the way they had to build the headers is just, I mean, it's you got to squeeze your leg under there. Ugh. Try to get it back out. It's not a ton of fun. Uh, this is like a 16 inch wheel. So what I did is I bought like a 13 and a half inch wheel something a little bit smaller Hoping to get a little bit more space than that uh, To put my legs through so um, Yeah, I'll walk you through how to take the steering wheel off and how to put the new one on and uh, Hopefully it's pretty simple and pretty straightforward first and foremost uh, You may have to pop it off with a screwdriver. This one just has couple of metal tabs so you kind of just have those pop out and that's uh, that's all we need to do to get to the nut all right so a little close-up view basically next I'm gonna go ahead and loosen the nut which I already got started before I started recording just so you didn't have to watch me struggle through that it really wasn't too hard but I'm gonna loosen it and not take it fully off. Um, next, I'm going to get a screwdriver and I'm going to take these three screws out. That'll take this horn ring off. Alright, next we're just going to remove these two pieces that are part of the horn assembly. That doesn't work anyways. So that now gives us access to these two screw holes. This one here. And this one here what we're gonna do we're gonna make sure this is loose so that we can pop it off it's also gonna give us a little ridge so that we can put our tool in there and it won't slide off but basically picked up this kit from Amazon pretty inexpensive and I can link it for you basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these two screws through the top and the bottom this is going to sit there like that and we're going to use this tool to pull the steering wheel off. Alright, so hopefully you can see what we're dealing with here. Um, like I said, we're going to go ahead and drop these screws, or these bolts I should say, through the tool. And we're now going to go ahead and screw those in to the holes that I had just showed you. So real quick, I just wanted to show you a kind, of, kind of a quick rundown here of what we're dealing with. So you'll notice I have each of the bolts in, probably about a half inch, maybe a little more, just to make sure that we have enough thread in there so that once I start putting some pressure on it, they don't just strip out. Um, and we have our tool and my socket ready to go. All right, here we go. like that was it didn't look like much didn't pop off or do anything crazy which is a little surprising you know you'd feel like a lot more pressure to it that there should be some sort of a reaction but the truth is it's just tapered so you're not uh, doing anything too crazy you're just kind of sliding it off leaving a little bit of the pressure so now I'm gonna go ahead and take the tool off At this point, we'll go ahead and just remove the nut. There's a washer in there that just fell off. Make sure I keep that. And here we go. Popped right off. All right, now the fun part. Uh, so I bought this steering wheel from Forever Sharp. Um, looks like it's pretty good shape good good quality not the best design but honestly I didn't really want to spend three four hundred dollars on a super high-end steering wheel just because I like the original and once I sell the thing I'll put that back on or 
you know, if I lose a bunch of weight or something, I'll put it back on. So what I did here is I went ahead and put the assembly together as shown on the diagram they give you. Um, you put these little three hex bolts in there so that it holds everything together. You're not trying to, you know, put five things together at once and put a, a bolt on. It's a pain in the butt. Um, so basically at this point, uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to put this on as straight as possible. Probably should hold the nut. There we go. That looks pretty good. So now I'm going to put this washer on and the hex bolt. Try to get that in place as quickly as possible. Alrighty. So that feels good. Tight. Now I can remove these hex bolts. Now that I got that on there and I feel pretty good about it, I'm going to go ahead and pop this guy on. It uses the shoulder bolts that we used earlier. Alright, so at this point, go ahead and get our Chevy cap and the spring that goes behind it. And this, uh, I think, is going to be best if we use a little bit of tape to kind of hold it on there. Really would be a pain in the butt without tape, so. Just need it to kind of hold still until I pop this cap on. And to me, that's good enough. May not be the perfect way to do it. Oh, there we go. Can turn it a little bit. So yeah, pop that on, and if you had a horn, you connect your battery and you'd be ready to go. Thank you.